Hello and welcome to this spreadsheet for creating a pipe stowage plan on a barge, developed by the NavalArc.com. Using this spreadsheet, we can develop a plan for stowing pipes in different bays on a barge. Let's see how it works. In this figure at the bottom, we can see that a barge is shown with different bays in which pipes are stacked. The number of bays will depend on the length of barge and the length of pipes stowed. A single length pipe is of a standard length of 12.2 meters. So, in a barge of length, say 70 meters, the number of bays possible will be 5. Many times, stacking is also allowed on top of the bays, by connecting two bays with a bridge. We can see this type of stacking in the next worksheet. We can also see different columns in the worksheet. These represent the different bays. The forwardmost bay is bay 1, the next is bay 2 and so on. The number of pipes which can be stacked in one bay depends on a number of factors. The first is the tier limit of pipes, which is the maximum number of tiers of the pipe which can be stacked above one another before the bottom tier yields. The next factor is the height limit of stowage on the deck of the barge. Generally a height limit of 2 meters is recommended. There is also a third limit on the overall number of pipes which can be stacked on the barge, the total weight of pipes must not exceed the maximum dead weight of the barge. To use this worksheet, we need to provide the inputs highlighted in blue cells. We need to input the properties of the pipe and the dimensions of the bay. For each bay, we input these properties in the respective cells. First is the width and height of the bay. Next we input the pipe diameter. From this the spreadsheet calculates the number of pipes which can be stacked at the bottom of the bay. This is simply the width of the bay divided by the dia of pipe. Next it calculates the nested diameter of the pipe. When pipes are stacked above one another, they sit in the grooves created in between. Thus their effective diameter reduces. This is called nested diameter. The number of tiers of the pipe is determined by dividing the bay height by the nested diameter. Let's say this number is N1. The user also needs to input the tier limit, which is the maximum number of tiers of the pipe which can be stacked before the bottom tier yields. Let's say this number is N2. The maximum number of tiers possible on this barge will be the lesser of N1 and N2. In this demonstration, we can see that the tier limit of the pipe is 8, but the maximum tiers possible on the barge because of stacking height limit of 2 meters is 2. Hence the user should limit the number of tiers to 2. Next the user needs to input the pipe weight. And whether the pipes are stacked longitudinally or transversely. We also need to input the deck loading capacity of the barge in tons per meter square. The load on any bay should not exceed this loading capacity. Below the input cells, we can see there are rows which depict the tiers of the pipe. The user needs to fill the number of pipe in each tier, going up to the maximum tiers. In this case, the maximum number of tiers is 2. Also, the number of pipes in a particular tier is 1 less than the number of pipes in the tier below. The bottom tier has the maximum number of pipes which the bay width can accommodate. In this case, the number in bottom tier is 22. In the tier above, the number will be 21. In a similar way, we fill the tiers in the different bays. We can see that as we are filling these tiers, the total weight of the pipes is being shown in the cell at the bottom right. We should be watchful that any time, the total weight of the pipes should not exceed the maximum dead weight of the barge. If it does, then we will have to limit the number of pipes, and redistribute them to ensure a workable trim for the barge. Usually a trim by aft is preferred, and we should aim to distribute the pipes to give a slight trim by aft to the barge. We can see that the deck loading in tons per meter square is also calculated and displayed. This should not exceed the deck load limit of the barge. In the next worksheet too, similar method is followed, but stacking on bridges between bays is also allowed. So that was about the pipe stowage plan spreadsheet developed by the NavalArc.com. Please visit the website to download the product, 
and please private us your valuable feedback. Thank you very much.